Now we'll talk about the operation of your windlass. The first step is to activate the windlass by pushing the button on your 20 position switch panel. The blue light will illuminate. Before using your windlass, it's good practice to tighten the clutch. To do that, you'll go to your owner's bag and take out the windlass handle. The purpose of the handle is to tighten the clutch on the windlass itself. You'll put the handle into the windlass and tighten it by pulling back on it in the clockwise direction. When the clutch is tightened, this will allow the anchor to come up smoothly and securely. It will also stop the anchor from falling back into the water. The next step is to disconnect the anchor safety cable. To do this, you disconnect the safety hook from the chain. Place it to the side so that the anchor can deploy freely. You have two ways of controlling your windlass. You have a switch panel at the helm which allows you to deploy and retrieve the anchor while standing at the helm, or you can use the foot switches that are mounted at the bow next to the windlass. To use the switch at the helm, you push the down button to drop the anchor and the up button to retrieve it. To deploy the anchor from the bow, you'll push this foot switch button that has the forward pointing arrow. That will allow the anchor line to pay itself out. To retrieve the anchor from the bow, you'll push the foot switch button that has the arrow that points back. That will allow the anchor to bring itself back into the boat. Be sure to reconnect your anchor safety cable when you're through using the anchor and windlass. This will allow the anchor to stay parked, even if the clutch loosens a little bit. And finally, you'll want to be sure to turn off the windlass switch that's on the 20 position switch panel at your helm. This will kill the circuit that was energizing the windlass and won't allow it to accidentally deploy itself.